As we near the end of 2012, we are looking back at some of the bigger stories of the year. With the presidential election this year and redistricting on the state level, politics provided lots of big headlines. As uh, you all know by now, it wasn't uh, quite the election we'd hoped for last night. The end of 2012 will mark the beginning of a new political landscape. Majority control at the state capitol shifted from Republicans to Democrats in November. We put Maple Grove ballot. Republican Employee. Kurt Zellers lost his leadership role as Speaker of the House, and both Republican-backed constitutional amendments about gay marriage and voter ID failed. In the process, two new DFLers joined the arena. Anoka Hennepin School Board member John Hoffman beat out Republican incumbent Benjamin Cruz in the Senate. It's kind of exhilarating. And Golden Valley Council member Mike Freiberg won his bid for a House seat. What we were hearing from people on the streets and, and at doorsteps were, you know, get something done, gridlock. They're tired of the gridlock, tired of the fact that people shut down government and still took paychecks. I mean, it, it made no sense to them at all, and it made no sense to me. The legislature the last couple years hasn't had the right priorities, borrowing money from the schools, uh, focusing on these constitutional amendments. I think the results uh, in, those, in the races for the amendments kind of speaks to that. We Change came to parks, city halls as well. Parks, Robbinsdale yes, Mayor Mike Holtz announced his retirement after 16 years on the job. Planning Commissioner Regan Murphy prepares to fill his shoes. Well, certainly what I spoke with people on the campaign um, is, you know, safer neighborhoods, stronger neighborhoods, and also economic development. And I assure people that I would try to bring a new, um, a fresh and energetic approach to leadership on city council. The leadership in Osseo will shift from one-term mayor Al Lindquist to current council member Dwayne Poppy. Lies were told and I was demonized. And an embittered campaign in Crystal resulted in firefighter Jim Adams unseating Renee Bowman, who was often at odds with the fire department during her tenure. One thing that did not change in 2012. Hello, Golden Valley. Our nation's leadership. Before his re-election, President Barack Obama became the first sitting president to visit Golden Valley. He spoke at Honeywell in June about a jobs program for veterans. I believe that no one who fights for this country should ever have to fight for a job when they come home. The shift in power at the state capitol will create some new opportunities in 2013 for two local DFLers. Longtime Senator Ann Ress becomes President Pro Tem of the Senate, and Chris Eaton of Brooklyn Center will be the caucus whip.